Hi guys, it's yours truly, Musicless here. Hey, subscribers, he's Ethan here. Uh, and welcome to our, finally about time I've gone around to this, the Sonic Review. One, uh, one of two reviews we're going to be doing this mo month. As you guys know, two big movies are coming out this month. We will react, uh, recap this in our culture capture in March. In, the, uh, in March, just so you guys know. But, uh, uh, the first, of, uh, we have the Sonic movie, which just recently came out, and then later on, me and Ethan are gonna go be seeing the My Hero Academia, uh, what's it called? My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. Heroes Rising movie, movie, when it comes out later this month. Literally a couple of days after the upcoming Music Clues Direct, which I just announced in a dual mix video, prior to this. So be sure to check that out as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. So today we're going to be talking about the Sonic movie, but of course, we're not going to go into any spoilers, because, well, this one's so sympathetic that if we explain too much, we might over-spoil it, so, um, we're only going to be explaining, uh, 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 explain the basic plot of the movie, but if you consider that a spoiler, spoiler, then I wouldn't watch that, but there, it's mainly, uh, we're mainly going to skip over anything that was considered major, like the bot, uh, the boss fights and all that, so just so you guys know. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, the basic plot of the Sonic movie, which really we all were confused, confused a little bit, is, uh, basically Sonic came here from Earth, uh, uh, from his island to our planet via a ring. Ring. Kind of like the ones in my shirt. Hey. Now, everybody knows that those rings are nothing new to the Sonic world, as there's special stage rings at the end of most Sonic stages in the classic Sonic games and Sonic Me Wait, no, scratch that. Not Sonic Mania. Mania. Uh, uh, but, uh, but, uh, the hidden plot, the stages in Sonic Mania and Sonic V and Knuckles. They're at the end of the stage for Sonic 1 and 2. Nearly forgot about that. Oh, and I think Sonic CD 2. Uh, but anyways, going to New Dimensions is nothing new with the Sonic series, but in this one in particular, Sonic had a special bag filled with gold rings, rings that he can use to transport to new places. Unfortunately, fortunately, <laughs> thanks to his power, he pretty much knocked out half, half the lights. So now it's up to this police, uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say what? Uh, it, so it's up to this person he met and him to find his wings and get him back home. Yep. Uh, so, oh, um, yeah. Uh, so I will say that the movie was, oh my gosh. So we're going to rate it on three things. The, the story, the action, the pacing, and of course, the music. Yep. Uh, and because this is a video game movie, references. <laughs> uh, so, oh, the story was awesome. I felt it's simple. I'm not gonna lie, it's very simple and very predictable, but it's also also very good, good in a sense because I feel like it's never been done before with a video game movie. So honestly, I really liked it. And it wasn't based off of anything. It was completely original. Yup. Uh, where, unlike Detective Pikachu, it was <laughs> semi-based off of a 3DS game. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, a lot of people sure is, sure is really, really that, you know, I would say people out there, I think I could see why the, why the few game movies don't do so hot in years. And I think there's a reason why the, all the few game movies didn't do so hot for years. DJ Vicky 2 was one of those lucky movies that did so well. But there's a problem to it, though. The reviews that I noticed for people, what they say as an audience, it was mixed. Exactly. There could be people like they who haven't played the game, or people who actually play the game and watch the movie. Exactly. And since the PDS is very underrated... Well, nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
now that was that's what also makes me slightly worried about the sequel, but we won't get too into depth on that, that because this isn't about why video games movies uh movies are just getting better better video. This is about a Sonic video. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but the story it just felt totally original. They didn't try to copy the games or anything. That's why I loved it. Right. Now, as for the action, oh my gosh, there was so much action. Action, I can, I, I possibly blinked too fast. Yeah, to be honest with that movie, I would say, when I first saw the movie, okay, I'll tell you something. My expectations that I was expecting it isn't going to do so hot like, like the other video game movie adaptions. But this one right here, as I noticed, there was a lot of people saying it's so positive. And uh, don't worry, I actually give it a try, but I wasn't, like, hype as he was. So, you know, when I found out the whole movie all the way through, man, that really mind-blowing me, I would say. And and he was, and I remember I told him that, that I wouldn't get too confident because, you know, I, you never know what the movie couldn't do. And guess who ended up eating his words? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's. Okay, to be fair, every almost every few game movies, except Detective Pikachu and this one, is not gonna do so hot. So that's why I hope my expectations end. Eh, which I give them a little bit of slack, slack for, but I think it's more of a company problem than it is a video game movie problem, in my personal opinion. But again, more on that later. But the action, Ethan can say, as someone who prefers action movies, there was a lot more of it. Even, uh, but I won't say it's more than Star Wars because the, I honestly think the two totally different genres, not even related to each other. But I will say, uh, say that it was pretty action packed, better than most action movies that Ethan seen in the last. Probably two years. Yup. <laughs> uh, now the pacing. Now the pacing actually was okay. I'm not gonna lie. Just a little, little, little bit weird. Um, um, it it, it felt like we weren't going into action and then sad action and then sad action and then sad. Emotional. It just felt a little bit weird, weird to me personally. But it's still, still. Uh, but and I didn't mind it really because Sonic's kind of weird himself. <laughs> so yeah, I really didn't mind it. Yep. Um. As for um. Hmm. Uh. Okay. So. As for what we're explaining is, is that as you hear the plot, guys, that's going to give you an idea of what the movie's going to be like, but we're not going to explain more because, to be safe, you guys needed to see it yourselves in it, theaters. Yeah, so that's why we said just the basic background part of the mo movie. I couldn't go any, any in depth more in depth if I wanted to. I really do, but I know be better than to spoil. Uh, like I said, this channel is spoiler free. Yup, and another thing too, guys, that I could say, there is another opinion of mine that I could say too, besides the one I just told you earlier. Let's say, surprisingly, guys, this will put your minds go right in your faces. Get ready. And, well, well, hold on a second, buddy. Buddy, we're going in order. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about, like, like, uh, you know what. Oh. Yeah, it's something else. Trust me on that. Okay. Uh, but, and it's about the movie itself. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but, um, okay, so next one was, oh, the music. The yeah, let's talk about the music. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Is it just me, or did this video game soundtrack, track, did this movie soundtrack sound almost better than I dare say, say, <sighs> kill me to say this, The Incredibles 2. Oh yeah, for me though, even it's doing better than the Detective Pikachu, <laughs> but as for like, there is a few things in that soundtrack it will be, one thing I could say, 
but I don't want to say it's spoiler, spoiler. Let's say there is one soundtrack in that movie would surprise you. But I'm not going to say what. Just a little hint for you. Yeah, just a little hint. And it's near the beginning. Let's just say that. That's all we can say, please. Yeah, that's all we can say without spoiling it, spoiling it for you guys. Uh, so, um, yeah. Now, honestly, warning for you guys, uh, guys. This is an opinion of Ethan's that he has told me that kind of surprised me, but I'm not going to hate him. So please do not go on Twitter and bash my best friend. Friend. Or you'll be talking to me later. Mm-hmm. This goes double for anybody I'm very close with. Yep. Close with, so please. If you don't want to hear this opinion of Ethan's, uh, I would skip ahead a couple minutes. Minutes near the end where we give a uh, final review because uh, <laughs> uh, I'll leave a timestamp below so you guys can skip over it. Uh, but if you're on mobile, I'll leave like a little text box right here and it will tell you what number to skip to so that way you guys know, know when to uh, <laughs> skip to if you do not want to hear this opinion. Yo. All right. Go right ahead, buddy. All right, so I'll start out with uh, with the positive ones for you guys as a fan base. I'll start with something positive, and then at the end, this will this will affect this will actually affect you to to uh, go against me. So I will not say that yet, but I'll say this part first. Okay, so I was gonna say while well, music has actually stopped me, what I'm about to say. Let's say one thing I could say is guess what. That movie is actually surprisingly, I seen, best view game adaption movie I have seen in years. The best one. Even better than Detective Pikachu. I thought it wasn't going to do better than Detective Pikachu, but surprisingly it was just so... Came out of the blue for me. Yeah. Again, if we were to do a different video on why I think that is the case, I, I, I would, but... I don't want to get people mad at me, so that's all I'm going to say. But that's a compliment, Sonic fans. This is coming from a non-Sonic fan. A non-Sonic fan. Not only that, um, yeah, and also, there's just a few moments in the movies that just made me so happy. And, and I was like, wow, how did this movie impress me so much? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so that is one of those things I would say. For all those years, we finally have like a few game that actually breaks the curse for for now, but not not like in the future or something. But hopefully, in the future, there's other few game adaptation movies will do well as that one. Uh, well, let's hope that's not. A, uh, let's hope Uncharted doesn't bring it back though. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah. So, so honestly, and the and the movie is just so impressing, and, and I'll tell you, man. I'll tell you, oh man, I can't believe I just so mind blown for this after the whole movie. But uh, I think I had another one, but I I think I'll I think I'll go ahead and say anyway, right towards the end of, of this opinion video for me. All right, guys, let's get this over with before you guys gonna bash me for it. <laughs> let's get it over with, and those of you are gonna watch it, and that's okay. All right, guys. You know what I'm going to hate to say? If those of you are the Dr. Eggman fans who love the original actor of, of him, I heard his voice. Guess what? Jim Curry? Or Cur Curry? I can't. Okay. Uh, Jim Carrey. Thank you. Jim Curry. Surprisingly, i got to tell you something. In the movie, he was fantastic. He was funny. And I'll tell you this. After I found out what he did for that Dr. Robotnik act in this one, I'll tell you something. Go ahead. If you're going to bash me, that's your choice. But let's say now that, I hate to break it to you, but he should be the new Dr. Eggman. Now, I'm not going to yell at Ethan for that one because he's one, my best friend, and two, two, it's his opinion. 
But I know for a long fact that Jim Carrey also is a very, very expensive person to do voice acting for. And the fact that he even got aboard this movie was a miracle. I don't want to think what he would charge for a video game acting. And Sega does these ga games pretty often, often as well. I mean, Sonic is a mascot after all. So I would love to see him maybe be in one of Sonic's video games in the future. I wouldn't be upset. But honestly, I think the voice actor we have for Dr. Eggman is totally fine. It's too iconic, honestly, at this point. But again, I'm not going to yell at my best friend. It's his opinion. It's his stance. And yeah, so there is more. There, If you guys want to know why I say that, I'll go ahead and say it out for my reasons so you guys will get my reasons. But as for MC, he's got to understand this too. So he's, he's got to be along with you guys. So don't worry. Alright, so reason why I say Jim Carrey should be replaced as Dr. Eggman actor because, okay, okay, I respect for the, the original cast for Dr. Eggman and Sonic games. I get that. I respect that. But there's a problem to it. Uh, sometimes I don't find him that funny, usually. And he may be. He may be cool. But sometimes, in the video games, he's not as smart as, you know what, in the movie, so... That's just coming from me, as I experience while I play the game and watch the movie, so. And another thing, I'll tell you something. Do you guys want someone who really is the most hilarious, hilarious actor with as a character? Do you want something like that? That's my reason. And, and if it weren't for him in the movie, I would have a little, eh, with, with this. Not the movie in general, but just the civic character and acting and all. But, like I said, if he does a good job in the future Sonic games as Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik, whatever you call him, <laughs> I would say he's going to be, like, practically, like, my favorite actor for the character. Of course, i seen you carry movies, other movies, so I gotta say, that's my reason why, why I think he should be replaced for Dr. Eggman in few games. That's an honest and fair opinion, but if I'm going to be honest, buddy, buddy, that's more on the writing of the Sonic games. That's been an issue for a very, very long time. Time, time. I don't th th think that, I don't blame you, though. If you really do think you should replace them, that's, again, your opinion, but that is more on the writing, and that has been a long-standing issue, especially with Sonic Forces. Uh, that I have no noticed that the fan base has been complaining about, and I'm not gonna lie, lie. When you think about it, sometimes uh, his jokes do kind of sound stale, but that that is mostly on Sega and Sonic Team's writing team team more than Eggman himself. He's just reading stuff off a of script, so it can't be helped. Yeah, not only that though, I gotta say, who wrote that script for for that Jim Carrey's uh, role? That was a good job. Honestly, in my opinion, that was a good job. But, it, like I said, I just want somebody who actually acts so funny for almost the whole time throughout the games. And, of course, no offense to you guys, but what I found out from him and all, this original cast, yeah, he doesn't sound that funny usually from the games. But, no, 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 no. I'm not saying Dr. Eggman is not the layer's character at all. It's not to do with that in the games, but... And there is some hilarious moments in the few games, I noticed. There is. Even MC knows. It's just, for me, when I noticed, that movie surprisingly made me impressed with that, with those comedies. It, now, again, but guys, just a reminder, even though Ethan did play, play Sonic 1 as his very first video game, he did not grow up with the Sonic franchise. So, this is coming from a somewhat outsider's opinion. He has more expo exposure to the Fire Emblem franchise, so if I were to say something about a Fire Emblem character in a Fire Emblem like movie, and Ethan were to defend his stance, I'm pretty sure the revolt will, will be reversed. But, if, again, again, it's his opinion. Please do not bash. Bash, I really would appreciate it if you respect Ethan's roles and possibly even explain to him and why Mark Pol Pollock, who is the current voice actor for Dr. Eggman, should remain his role as Eggman. Eggman. It, it would do a world of good if you could. 
could. Because uh, I can do it so much explaining, but I can't really do that much because a lot of you have done a lot more analyzation uh, on the Sonic series than I have, personally. So, yeah. Um, now, for those who just uh, skipped over all of this, he kind of did a good job on you. <laughs> you probably skipped one of the possibly most toxic so uh, Sonic debates to date. And I know this is so personal to everybody, but that's the way I feel. And there's nothing you do about it. I bet you there's like other people out there that have some kind of underrated opinion. I think this opinion I noticed, I don't think it's that underrated. Maybe it is. I'm not so sure, but... Uh, in terms of so Sonic, no. Uh, Sonic, no. In terms of Eggman, totally yes. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta say... Uh, honestly, again, though, again, that's just, just come where I feel, even if I play almost almost some of the Sonic games, like the modern few games, like Sonic Unleashed, I did play Colors, not as much. I played Jerry Shin, and, um, yeah, 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 I caught up with most of the modern Sonic games, but not all the Sonic games. Exactly, so Ethan doesn't know the knowledge of all the Sonic games history, like, I would, since I played every single one. So, yeah. But that's, again, not his fault, 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 fault for not knowing everything. Again, he's not a hardcore like uh, a lot of us or me. So, touche. But, uh, anyways, like uh, like I said, for those who skipped over all this, uh, way to go, guys. Guys, like I said, you skip uh, probably one of the most toxic uh, debates in Sonic history that Ethan just brought up. And please do not spam the comic se section too much with said debate so we don't get fans upset. The last thing I need is a lot of people people coming at me later. Or Ethan later. <laughs> Mostly at me, because... <laughs> I don't know. I oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. For those who stuck through and respect Ethan's opinion, thank you. I appreciate it. And for those who are gonna bash Ash and Ethan, well, I hope hope you've enjoyed your time with the Go Givers, because you're gonna get kicked out if you do that. Yeah, or even MC has his own underrated opinions as well with you guys, so that's what we're trying to say. Uh, yeah, uh, but I don't talk about him as often because... You know how they feel. I even have some opinions about certain video game companies, but I'm not going to speak about it because <laughs> said fan base would yell, uh, come down off floats if we did. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, back to the Sonic movie, movie, our uh, final rating. Yeah, let's get to that. Okay, so buddy, what is your final rating? My final rating, I would honestly give to you, is actually 8 out of 10 for a reason. Wow! Oh, eight out of ten. That's impressive, guys. And that's coming from a again a non-Sonic fan. So yeah. As for me, you probably think you and I gave it a perfect ten. Ah ah. Uh, if it went for the weird, somewhat weird pacing of this movie, I would have. But I had to give it nine point five. I mean, no company is perfect. Neither is Paramount or Vidcon. So. But still, they did an excellent job, uh, job, oh, and the references for everything. Oh my gosh, there's so many references inside this movie, movie. I nearly went berserk. That's for sure. Oh, and stick around for the post and, uh, credit cutscene. There's something very special about it. I can't tell you what, but there's something very special about it. Yeah, another thing too. There's as I'll ask the question. Do you think this pull scene is going to give you the idea? Is it going to continue the this, this sequel? Or it's for something special that you guys will find out? That's all I can say. That's all we can say. Say. Eh, say. Eh, I hope it wasn't too big of a clue. Uh, I hope it isn't either, because I could say, I, like I said, I'm not trying to go too closer to you guys. Trust me on that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, again, thank you, Paramount and Sega and the whole team that worked on this amazing movie. You did a wonderful job. 
Uh, hang on, guys. <laughs> yeah? Well, we got interrupted, but all I can say is... Alright, anyways. Okay, so anyways, guys. Let's just go... Okay, sorry for a little interruptions, but don't worry. We're going to cut to this part up to here. Yep. Alright, so anyways, ladies, like I was saying... Thank you to everybody, buddy, who worked on this film. Thank you to Paramount. Thank you to Big Com, Com, Com for letting Paramount make this amazing movie. Thanks to all of Sega, Sega for doing a, such an amazing job. I'm so happy to see Sonic doing so good. Now please, please keep this going. And not only that, guys. I'll tell you one thing though. That was a smart decision that you guys decided, like, you redesigned the Sonic's design. Although that I, was a smart decision. Although I do feel bad for the company that was working on it that got closed down. It's not just because of Sonic. That same company actually worked on the Lion King remake. But that's a review for another time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. Could be because of... Disney spending too much. I'm not looking forward to looking forward to that Leo Lone Stitch remake later. Yeah. Not only that, I will definitely check out this another live live action a Disney movie that is coming out in somewhere next month is Mulan. Yeah, but uh keep your whole Hong Kong controversy comments out of our comment section, please. <laughs> Uh, we don't need that here. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah. So that's all for now. We'll be back later on this month with a review, uh, with a recap and reaction of the My Academia movie. However, I should warn you, this one's gonna be really, really, really off above me and Ethan because sadly, unlike the previous movie, this one's canon. Yeah, and if you try to avoid Canada for Season 4, if you haven't been able to watch it lately, we're going to try our best not to spoil it, but <laughs> it's going to be so hard. That's for sure. All right, see you guys later. This is yours truly, Music Clues. Ethan in, signing out. And have a nice gaming night. Gotta go fast. <laughs>